Glastonbury is a great gathering. For some people, it's their first glimpse of, of a kind of alternative lifestyle. It's transient, but it could be a microcosm of what, what could, things could be like. Community means the, the, the coming together of the, of the mind, of the people. Community means to me, I think just groups of people working together, living together and doing positive things. It's helping people, isn't it? And it's looking out for others. I mean, you can't go to a festival. You see someone that's walking around without a hat, Tell them they got to get a hat, give them some sun cream. You know, it's like people are doing that, give them some water. It's like, look after your people around you. You might not see them again until next year, but if you don't look after them, you might not see them at all. So it's just a matter of putting your hand out and, and not being selfish, really. Everyone's here to have a good time. You can talk to anyone just walking along. You make so many friends just because everyone wants to get along. So I haven't seen any violence, anything like that. Everyone's just really nice. In a, in a lot of ways, community is, is disappearing in the way that I understand it because more people, you know, live on the internet. Don't they just don't have so many shared experiences, or, or their shared experiences come through being online or whatever, or talking on a mobile phone, you know, or sending emails. That's how you communicate now. You don't get many times when it's necessary for you to actually get together with a load of people and concerts and in a bigger, you know, environment festivals is one of those times. I think it's really essential these days, you know, just to just just finding real a real sense of community amongst people and organizing things on a smaller scale. No past and no future, this moment, this moment. Glastonbury is a great gathering. And the area of Glastonbury has got a history of like Celtic and going even further back, yeah, pagan history of being like a mystical place. Yeah. So I see Glastonbury as a mystical gathering. I think the thing about festivals like Glastonbury is, I mean, it goes back such a long way to the 70s and it carries a lot of those principles and ideals with it. And I think for some people it's their first glimpse of, of a kind of alternative lifestyle, really. And I think that's one of the gifts that it brings, you know. It's, it's like people come here and I think it changes their lives quite often. People can go and look in the green fields and see people doing, sustain, you know, making, making things sustainably and living in sustainable communities. They can see people living in teepees and living off, you know, off the land and using things in a responsible way, you know. And I think it, it, it can teach people a hell of a lot, you know. Because in this world that we're living in, there's too much friction. There's too much people who are having reasons not to come together. Mm -hmm. So any excuse to come together, the gathering of the people, the gathering of the tribes, yeah. is an energy. Because we're all energy, energy forces, we're all energy fields. To me, when I used to come here as a, as a punter, you know, there weren't mobile phones, there wasn't any of this. And what I used to love about it was the unpredictability of it. I mean, sure, now everybody's like, oh, I'll meet you there and texting, I'm here, where are you, and all that. I, I wish that didn't happen, you know. I don't want to sound like a grumpy old fart, but it was. there's something about being in a, in a mad environment like Glastonbury and just wandering and bumping into people and meeting people. You know, if you you spend your whole time going from A to B to C to D to meet all your friends, you're not going to meet other people. and voice and expression of voice and sound were some of our original primal tools of communication that we use in primal times and it still stays, it still remains with us and it is a positive force you know no matter how cliche that sounds if there wasn't any music here you wouldn't have these people here so it, it's self-perpetuating people come it has a great atmosphere and a community vibe but because of the music that's why people are coming that's why people come year after year it's the soundtrack to our lives you know 
the change has got to come from within and not just the music you know music is our soundtrack to change when a song comes on and and you're it means that much to you and then you start thinking about other things that are going on in your life it like almost brings you to tears yeah so many times i've sort of watched somebody and thought you know what like I'm enjoying my life so much and then in the next breath you're looking up at the screen and there's something about sort of water aid or climate change or green peace and you're like, oh God, we need to we need to sort ourselves out. Everyone gets that sort of one or two weeks after Glastonbury and go, oh, the world is so wonderful, the world is great, music is brilliant and it brings people together and, you know, there's like a hundred and something thousand people together and then within two weeks they just get back onto it with their lives. I think if if they're really true about it, it's, uh, you know, they get involved with things that are going on. There's enough organisations that are here voluntary, there's enough organisations that are trying to help charities and stuff. I mean, just, you know, when you get home, the, uh, the, the old ch interweb, you know what I mean, and have a look to see what's going on, and there's loads of things happening that you can get involved in. I think people are so detached from each other, they really need to get back together and learn about living with each other, and the, world, the world's too stretched for that now. We're all too busy watching television and to really think about our neighbour. I live in London, and to be honest, I don't know anyone down my street, whereas you come to Glastonbury and you talk to anyone and everyone. Glastonbury can inspire other people and communities. It can, I mean, this shows a community where there's, there's so many different types of people, but you know, everyone's kind of more open speaking. And you know, it's, it's a bit of a phenomenon, it's nice, and it's probably the main reason I come here. I like the real, you know, when you go outside, for it to be like that in the outside world, but it's not for some reason. It is frustrating in a way. What you can take home with you is a regenerated faith in humanity or something that, you know, assuming you have a good experience, you've met new people, you've had a, a nice time and you've, you know, you've given and received kindness. I mean, obviously, it helps to know that there are other people like you around and, and not only that, but here, that there are many, 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 many different types of people from different backgrounds and different places. Well, every time you go on a tube train or a bus, Rather than ignore your fellow human, have a chat. You might learn something, or you might teach something, or you might just have a bit of fun. We all have an essential responsibility for what we do and the impact we make on the world around us and on other people, you know, and it's just, it's just as simple as that, you know. We should, each one of us needs to take responsibility for the way we live our lives. We can make a difference, and we can send out our energy all over the world. We can be very strong and mighty.